Hello subscribers and watchers, what's up? This is me, Vivs from Slidenerd here. In this video, I'm gonna continue our discussion of the different things that we can do in Android using Intents by sending an email from your app to someone else. So let's see how we can use Intents to do this. So if you notice my activity, which is nothing but main activity here, you go and check its layout. There are three buttons, launch map, market, and send email. In this video, we're going to talk about this one, which is send email. If you go to the activity underscore main dot XML, the other view, there you go. This is our button send email, which has the text send email, and there's the on click attribute, which is called process. In other words, when the button is clicked, it's going to call this method public void process, and it's going to pass the button over here that was clicked. We simply take that view, we get its ID, and we compare it. By saying r.id.n email, which means that button send email was clicked. So here we need to perform the things that we would do for sending an email. So what do we do in that case? Simply say intent equals to new intent. And as you notice, there is a string action. So we're gonna take that one. The action in our case is going to be action send. So I'm gonna say intent dot action send which is one of the predefined actions out there inside your intent class for sending something. Now it's an email in our case, it can be a file, it can be a message or whatever that arises. The next thing is we need to set the data. So I'm gonna say intent dot set data. Now our data is of a very special format. Now this requires a URI object. I'm gonna say URI dot parse. In other words, give it a string convert that string to a URI. It is the mail to protocol that we have just like HTTP, HTTPS. There's a protocol called mail to that lets you email using the client installed on your device. So that is there. Now, now this is not it, right? We have to give some other pieces of information like to whom you want to send the email. What is the subject of the email and what is the body, right? So for that, we're going to say intent or put extra so we add these extra items with the put extra method over here I'm gonna say intent dot extra email and there is a string array now when you're sending the message you will need to send it to a list of people out there let's take that we make a string array we say string array two and we just put the brackets create the two recipients one of them is gonna be slide note at the rate gmail.com which is our own ID over here the other is gonna be some dolphin developers at gmail.com so these are the two addresses to which I wanna send the email and that array over here has been passed as an extra to the intent over here the next thing that we need to do is put the subject I'm gonna say intent dot put extra again I'm gonna say intent dot extra subject here I'm gonna simply say hi this was sent from my app then again just copy paste this and instead of email over here we just need to go an extra text over here and for the text this will be the message that we wanna send say hey what's up so these are the three critical pieces of information now, of course you're wondering what about the from well it depends on which account you're currently logged in inside your mobile phone as you know very well that for using Android devices you have to log into a Google account and that is the account from where you will be sending the email to the two people that is Lightnoon and Dolphin developers as the subject has been put the extra text has been put now there's just one more thing that we need to do we need to set the type by saying intent dot set type over here which is the mime type of the email which is something like this message slash rfc822 now without putting this type there will be no activities found which can handle these three things over here in other words your app will either crash or it will say that no apps can perform this action and hence it is important that you specify the mime type of rfc822 which is the name of the specification for email next all we gotta do is create our chooser if you remember we have multiple apps on our phone that can probably send email we need to select one of them by saying intent dot create chooser for this intent that we have the title 
let's say send email so this is gonna give us the chooser I'm gonna simply say chooser over here and all we gotta do is start our activity by saying start activity and chooser and that completes the steps that we want to send an email now let's run this and see if this actually works remember very well you have set the action send as part of sending the email use the URL as a protocol as mail to then you specify the recipients of your email you specify the extra first that the people who you want to send to the subject the message itself and most importantly the type saying that this is the mime type of the message that you intend to send and ultimately you let the user show pop up a dialog box that presents the list of applications that can handle this intent object which is nothing but this chooser over here and you simply start activity for the given chooser so I'm running this on my phone and the phone is connected here on the computer which you can see its screen so right now if I go here and if I say send email as you guys notice the first thing that happens is this chooser pops up it shows me a list of apps that can handle this intent object I'm gonna take Gmail for this or oh, let me take the first one email I'm gonna just click on that one okay so it says you can set up an email which means I probably haven't set it up let me go back again if I click send email this time I'll take Gmail over here which is probably set up there you go so if you see directly the two has been put up those two values over here the subject is here and the message is over here that's all we need to do right just send it by clicking send at the top right over here and it says sending message and as you guys notice hi this was sent from my app this is my slide note at the red gmail.com where I have received the email from my application which is logged into another different account over there and that means our email app is working perfectly so this is how you send an email from your app in the next video we are gonna further explore the different things that you can do in Android directly in the meantime if you like what you saw please like this video share this video subscribe to our channel and let us know your thoughts in the comment boxes below thanks for watching we'll catch you guys in the next video have a nice day